Good morning, good morning. It is uh it is Monday. It's 2:45 a.m. and I'm on my way to the gym. And since it's Monday, it's confession Monday. And what do I want to confess today? I had uh, a couple weeks ago, me and my wife had, we had went at a challenge with one another and we wanted to see if we could restrain from uh, things that, that, that we like that weren't good for us. So our job was, and, and, and to make it challenging, um, our job was to identify what it is what it is or something that we didn't like or something that kind of had control over us because the last thing you want is things to have control over you you want to control them Um, unless it's with God then you want to be out of control with that Um, and I mean that in all sincerity so for her well I'm not going to talk about what it was for her but for me it was sugar and for me in general there See, I'm not like, let's just, let, let, me, let me give you an example. Let's assume that I was a heroin addict. I can't kick heroin by going on to methadone. There, I, I, my, I'm not wired to be one of these wing me off individuals. I'm one of these wired people who, you know, if, 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 if I'm done, I'm just done. <laughs> Relationships, if I'm done, I'm done. You know, I, I don't, I, I'm not going to go through a withdrawal period. But getting to that point is hard enough in itself because you have to first come to the, the conclusion, hey, this ain't no good for me. So me and her had, had created this challenge. And mine was to give up sugar. And, and I know that there's, you know, first day everybody, I start, you know, because I was documenting it. Day one, day two. I made it all the way up until day 12, um, which was the day that my son, we had thrown a surprise party for him. And uh, we had this beautiful cake made. And uh, I was like, man, I'm going to indulge in this because I felt the occasion uh, warranted me being able to let go so I broke my fast of sugar that day and it got worse it got worse and I went back to my habits hey let's get ice cream hey let me eat a handful of of, you know Reese's Pieces or uh, I forgot what they're called but let me get a handful of candy. Let me get. Let me eat some of that. Let me try this. And, and I was reverting back just as quick. Like as hard as it is for somebody to give up sugar, I'm able to do it with ease. But just as soon as I went back, I guess my confession was I got out of hand with. You know, I got out of control with it. And then my birthday came around. And there was multiple cakes being eaten and bad habits being consumed. So I told my wife, I said, man, I'm going off sugar again. Because not that I want to accept the fact of having an addictive personality. But I'll do anything I can to avoid having an addictive personality. Whatever I need to. And I was consuming sugar. Candy. Ice cream. It got so bad with the ice cream. I remember getting some and I would always give myself, I would always like 
give myself this okay, like this permission, like, hey, it's, you know, you deserve it. But it got so bad with the ice cream because I was getting it, getting it, eating it. That I'm this type of individual. If I know that I can't have any control, I just won't allow it in the house. I I, I don't care what anybody. You know, the the case has been my family has brought the case against me. But what? It ain't our fault. You don't have no self control. Well, you gonna be a part of this self control movement? Because there I there ain't no way I'm gonna be fighting temptation up in my own house. The world's got enough. And, uh, but with this ice cream, man, uh, there must have been about three quarters of a gallon left, or whatever was in there. It was a lot left. My way of getting rid of it was I just left it sitting on the counter all night. I knew that once I got up in the morning, it'd be melted, it'd be no good, nobody would eat it, good opportunity, throw it away. And that's, that's a lot of what I would do. Like even this morning, I found a cup full of M&Ms or something, I'd throw them in the garbage. Not saying that my kids shouldn't have that, but it's not good for you, so... You're going to leave it out in my presence. I'm going to throw it away. So just be mindful of things that are in your life that are having a controlling effect over you and you don't want them. Be mindful to get them out of your life. You know, I adopted this, this saying And it goes a little bit longer than this, so I'll sum it up. Just imagine what you could be if you really tried. Today. Right now. Just imagine. Just think about it. And then just do it. And it doesn't matter if it takes 10 minutes or it takes 10 years. Just do it. 